Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Elder R. L. Dunlap Jr. coming unto you with the only infallible, uncompromising, unadulterated, <coughs> written word of God. We greet you from God the Father and from his Son, Jesus Christ, who is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father. We greet you on today. We hope and pray that all is well with you. All right, don't forget, YouTube, we are on Facebook. Our Facebook address is simply Elder R. L. Dunlap Jr. Facebook, we are on YouTube. Our YouTube address is simply, we have two channels. Robert Dunlap, all lowercase. The second sound, Robert Dunlap, all lowercase, except the D is capitalized. Those are our YouTube stations. All right. Today we want, get your Bibles now. Today we want to talk from a very familiar passage of Scripture. Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. You ever heard of that? I have all my life. I'm sure you have. They said, well, why do they depart from the training if the scriptures say he won't depart? Why is that? We're getting ready to talk about that on today. So get your Bible, YouTube, Facebook, get your Bible and let's go to work. Starting with Proverbs 22 and 6. All right. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now I'm going to say something. That's going to be controversial. But it's true. And it pertains to this scripture. I'm going to say something. We get ready to explain this. And explain it right. Now. Proverbs 22 and 6 trained up a child, Elamar, in the way he should go. Him and not father you two trained up a child in the way he should go. When he was old, he was not apart from it. And many have left the training and departed. So is this scripture a lie? Hear me good. This scripture is not a lie because this scripture is not a promise from God's mouth. This is not a promise from God's mouth. Huh? This is not a promise from God's mouth. Proverbs 22 and 6 is not a promise from God. Don't turn me off. I have a backslid. Don't turn me off. That's not a promise from God. Huh? God never said if you train them right they won't depart God never said that this is words of wisdom these are wise statements words of wisdom this is not a automatic promise from God God never said oh uh, Oh, uh, your children will not uh, uh, depart if you train it right. God never said that. And, 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 and something else just came to mind. And I guess I, 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 I better follow the lead of the Holy Ghost. Go to the book of Acts. Keep your Bible open. Go to the book of Acts. Watch this. You ever heard the term? If you get saved, the Bible say your whole house will be saved. Let's see exactly what do it say and what did it say. Acts 16 and 30. And brought them out and said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? Get this. 
and they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Folks say, well, God probably, if you get saved, your whole house gets saved. No, he did. No, he did. And that wasn't what Paul and Silas were saying. They weren't saying that. They didn't say that. Jesus never said if you got saved, your whole house gets saved. And if your whole house don't get saved, that means you ain't living right. The Bible don't say that. That's not in Scripture. Well, what do it say? That's why study is important. Read on. 32. And they spake unto him the word of the Lord and to all that were in his house. The whole word. Here it is. What must I do be saved? Here what you got to do. Here what you got to do and your whole house got to do if they want to be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You to be saved, believe on Lord Jesus. Your house to be saved, believe on Lord Jesus. If your house don't be saved, if your house don't believe on Lord Jesus, they ain't going to be saved. Thirty-four. And when he had brought them into his house, when they went to his house, he said me before them and rejoice, believing in God with his whole house. His whole house believed. Now, I didn't mean to go here, but my God, the Holy Ghost is working. The Holy Ghost is moving. Hallelujah, lead me. I got to give the whole counsel. And now Jesus said, he didn't love father and mother and sister and brother more than me. It's not worthy. Did not Jesus say that? Did not Jesus say a man's foes shall be that of his own household? Did not Jesus say that? Did not Jesus say whosoever forsaken mother, father, sister, brother? Or no man that have forsaken mother, father, sister, brother, wife, children. Houses land for my sake in this life shall receive a hundredfold, and in the next life, eternal life. Huh? So you gotta read, you gotta understand what you read. Jesus said, Think not that I come to bring peace, but a sword putting mother in law at odds with her daughter in law. And uh, uh, daughter-in-law at all with a father-in-law and son and daughter uh, at all with mother and father. But I come to bring a sword. Got it? Got it? If the, if the family don't want to go, you got to go. If the brother that have a uh, uh, unbelieving wife or unbelieving, uh, unbelieving uh, husband, vice versa, and they be pleased to dwell with them, don't put them away, don't divorce them, don't leave them if they be pleased to dwell with you. Huh? So that's not automatic that your whole house will be saved. If they repent of their sin and believe on Lord Jesus Christ, that's the condition, then they will be saved and only then. All right. All right. <laughs> I had to follow the leading of the Holy Ghost. I didn't plan to go there. Now, <clears throat> do wrong towards the end of the two years, tramp time, time and ways to go, who is over not a part of it. That's not a problem from God. That's a wise saying. That's a wise saying. It works that way sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. That's not automatic. It happens that way sometimes, but not all the time. This is a wise saying. This is wisdom talking. <laughs> and the same one who wrote this, look and see how he was a fool. Solomon. 
All right. Now, this was not a problem from God out of God's mouth. This was wisdom. Now, some of you children have broke your heart because they were contrary to the teachings that you were still in them. They were contrary. They know them. They were contrary. You didn't live any kind of way before them. Cousin Sharon. You didn't live any kind of way before them. You lived right before them. You taught them the right way to go, but they were contrary. It ain't your fault. You did your job. They went contrary to the word of God. They went contrary to your words and the pattern. That's on them. They have nothing to do with you if you taught them. They have nothing to do with you. Get that, get that burden off you. Get that yoke out around your neck. Forget these folks in the church saying you all to talk to your children. In a lot of cases, you did teach your children. They didn't win a straight. Don't let folk bind you like the pastor children is so good. Them devils have done something every time. Mind with you. Like the missionary children is so good. They have done something every time. Worse than your children. Some just didn't get caught. Some got caught and think don't nobody know about it. Well, I better leave that alone. It ain't no secret. It ain't no secret. We <laughs> my cousin <laughs> my cousin Sharon McNeil <laughs> she watching she know don't say nothing don't say nothing that Sharon she know how my parents brought me up and she know I went astray me and all my brothers went astray they had to pick me up off the floor one day. <laughs> they, they'll leave right there. <laughs> Shadow McNeil, my cousin, she know. <laughs> and you watching me, you disobeyed your power. You went astray. It wasn't because they didn't teach you. Now. Let's go here. Go to Deuteronomy 21 and 8. I, I just want to I want to show you something. Deuteronomy 21 and 18, rather. I need to show you this. Deuteronomy 21 and 18. So the, the, look, don't walk around the rest of your day with your head with your head hung down because your child messed up and your child did something and brought shame on the family. Don't you go around bound. Lift up your head. You taught them right. Hold your head up and go on. They grown. They made their own choice. Deuteronomy eight, uh, 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 21, 18. See, look here. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother and that when thou have chased him, you know sometimes you can beat them, beat these children. Sometimes beating don't work, quipping don't work, time out don't work, nothing work. And when they have chased him, will not hearken unto them, then shall his father and mother lay hold on him Bring him out unto the elders of his city and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of his city, This is our son. This our son is stubborn, rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton. He is a drunkard. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stone that he die. And shall put evil away from among him. And all Israel shall hear and fear. All right, that was the law of Moses now. Don't you kill your son. Don't kill your daughter. That was the law of Moses. They disobeyed. That's on them. You taught them right. <clears throat> uh, and one more, get your Bible to go to Jeremiah. I mean Ezekiel. Get your Bible to go to Ezekiel. 
Now, my parents told me, it, it, it's Sharon, my cousin, she know. <laughs> my parents, especially my mother, taught me. She said, all right. And I, I remember them days like, like, it, like it was yesterday. She said, all right. Y'all y'all can get up grown and get on your own and do your do it all you want to. She said, but after a while, you might get by, but you won't get away. She said, after a while, it's going to stab you in your face. It's going to stab you in your face. That's what my mother said. She did and gone. She said, she said, Yo, the dirt you do is going to stab you in your face. Keep going the gate you going. The dirt you doing is going to stab you in your face. And she said this. And she said, no, I'm telling the truth. She said, and it won't be because you can't say you didn't know no better because we taught you. You can't say that because we taught you. That's what she said. That's what she said. I remember that like oh yesterday. I remember the first day uh, uh, I came home and first day I came home drunk. Drunk as a skunk. <laughs> and my mama told me, where you been? It's after midnight. She said, oh, that's all you got to tell me. I smell it on you. And, I, and it broke her heart. I remember that. She said, keep going the gate you going. Get grown. Thank you grown enough to, big enough to do whatever you want to do. But it's going to stab you in the face one day. And she said, you ain't going to be able to say you didn't know no better because we taught you. Now I'm going to show you scripture that's going to show you what God said. That's right. I shall or no? <laughs> We're going to show you in scripture what God said concerning your son and your daughter. Now let's show you the word of God. If you taught him right, it's not your fault. And we said before, remember the prodigal son? He was taught right, he knew better. Let's see what God said. Go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 18. And I'm going to have, and I'm going to have to go. I got a 3.30. Appointment. Ezekiel 13. You, you, you mothers, especially you mothers. You know, fathers different, but especially you mothers. Lift your head up. You talked it right, you did, you did your part. Don't and don't make none of these long nosed hypocrite and saints. Ain't make you feel bad because of your children. They cheering and done some stuff too. Let's see what, what God said concerning that. Uh, Ezekiel 18 and 1. The word of the Lord came unto me saying, this is God talking now. This is what God got to say about this. When we read, train up a child in the way he should go, that's a wise saying, but now let's hear the truth from God. The word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, What mean ye that ye use this proverb? This proverb. You know why it says. Why it says ain't scripture. What mean you you use this proverb concerning the land of Israel, saying, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children teeth are set on edge. Me, the reason children act up is because the father done acted up. And so they were passed on down to the children. That's not necessarily so. That's not so. And we're going to show you. Now, I remember that. I thought about this. <laughs> Do y'all remember years ago? I don't know what Shadow what remember that or not. Shadow, you remember when they say when you're pregnant, don't go to the zoo. And don't look at certain things on TV. Because if you go to the zoo, they told the story. This woman went to the zoo. And this woman saw a monkey or a gorilla or something. 
and the baby in her belly got mocked by that monkey gorilla and came out looking like gorilla because she saw that while she was carrying her baby. <laughs> I don't know whether that's story true or not. But they said you can mock your children by what you do. Now I remember <laughs> I remember uh, <coughs> this certain woman I was going with she came up and said she was pregnant. And we were teenagers. And I had got my story together. Sharon, I got my story together. So when your Uncle Bob come and ask, and when my mama come and ask, I have my story together. If it come out looking like me. You know my story was? I was going to say, that baby marked because I was messing with her you know, making fun of her, and the baby come out mocked. Because they had told us that if you look at some, or somebody be around you, you know, and some affect you while you have your baby, your baby come out looking just like what scared you, what you saw in the zoo, what you saw on TV. So I, I was going to say, the baby mocked. I was just around, and the baby mocked. That's why he looked like me. Oh, I had my story together. <laughs> Now, you know, you know, you don't smoke when you carry a baby, you don't drink when you carry the baby, and all that. We understand that. We ain't talking about that. Then the word of the Lord came and read with us, came to me again saying, What mean you to you, the proverb concerning the land of Israel, saying, The father have any sour grain, the tear and teeth I said on the end. That means it's the father's fault that the tear and acting up. What did Jesus say? But God say, as I live, said the Lord God, you shall not have occasion anymore to use this proverb in Israel. You can't use this wise saying no more. It's the father fault, the real tearing acting up. It's the father fault. The father must have done something wrong. Must have didn't teach the child. Read. Behold, all souls of mine as the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine. The souls that sin it shall die. Watch this. But if a man be just and do that which is lawful and right, and had not eaten upon the mountain where upon the mountain, neither have lived up his eyes to Allah, he didn't wish of Allah of the house of Israel, he didn't wish no Allah, he was the only true and living God, neither had defiled his neighbor's wife, he didn't sleep with his neighbor's wife, neither had came came near to a mystery woman. He, he didn't come to a woman when she on a period. He didn't come to a woman when she was on a period. You can't wait them seven days. What matter with you? And had not oppressed any. He didn't oppress nobody. He was righteous. But had restored to the death of his pledge. He paid his bills. He did what he was going to say. He, what he said he was going to do. And had spoiled none with violence. He ain't killed nobody. He ain't killed nobody. Had given his bread to the hungry, he fed the poor, and had covered the, the naked with the garment, gave those that didn't have clothes, gave them clothes. Read. He that have not given forth upon usury, he didn't go to the casino, he didn't go to the long shop, he didn't play a lottery. Read. Neither have taken any increase. That had withdrawn his hand, taken any increase, that had withdrawn his hand from iniquity. He didn't he, he, he didn't put his hand doing iniquity. He wasn't doing no wrong things. Had executed execute true judgment between man and man. He didn't pervert no judgment. He told the truth. He did that which is right. He did the right. They care if you were a poor man or who you were a multi-millionaire. You didn't get all because you were a multi-millionaire. And you received justice, and you were the poor man, and wasn't no multi million without to bribe your way and buy your way off. He but he did that was right. Had walked in that statue, he kept the commandments of God, had kept my judgment to deal truly. He is just. He shall surely live, says the Lord God. Watch this. If he began a son, have a son that is a robber. A shed of blood. He's a robber. He's a murderer. 
and do it and and that do it the like of any one of these things if you do anything like that. Car jacking, purse snatching, killing, raping, murder, burglary, whatever it is. And do it any of those do this, but has even eaten up on the mountain and defiled his neighbor's wife, your son messing with the, his neighbor's wife. Your son messing with his neighbor's wife. Camille Dutcher. And have been upon these mountains uh, serving our gods. Had to press the poor. He oppressed the poor. He oppressed. You know, you know, your son is a minister now. Your son a pastor now. He gets up in the pool pit and tells the folk if they don't sow a seed, they robbing God and God ain't pleased with them. And they better sow a seed. Don't care what they got to do. Pledge it. Don't care what you got to do. Sow a seed for your miracle. Or if God going to do something to you, that's oppressing. Uh oh. <laughs> Oppress the poor and needed. Oppress the poor and needed. I don't care if you're poor. Get look, look. What I tell you to give, you give. What I tell you to do, you do. I don't care if you're poor. I ain't gonna lower these prices for you. I ain't gonna help you. Has spoiled by violence, or kill. Had not restored the player, he's a liar. Had lifted up his eyes to idol, which meant our gods. Had committed abomination. Abomination consists of a whole lot of things. Abomination, abomination also is man with man and woman with woman. Sissy, lesbian. Abomination is food with animals. Beastiology. Abomination is food with children. Pedophile. You devil, you. Has given forth to user it. And he went to the casino. Try to hit the jackpot. Losing his money. And had taken increase. Shall he then live? If he did all this horrible stuff. Yet you didn't do it father. Mother you didn't do that. And you taught him better than that. Shall he live? Watch it. <coughs> he shall not live. He had done all these abominations. He shall surely die. His blood shall be upon him. It's his fault. He can't blame mom and dad. That's enough of that. Here's the point. You, your children don't went astray. Call shame on the family. All that kind of thing. Did all kind of thing. You didn't teach them in that way. But they do it anyway. They don't let nobody blame you. Don't let these church folk blame you. Don't let these saints blame you. You taught them the right way to go. They just chose not to. They blood on their head. God said that. All right. Be free, woman. Be free, man. Stop crying. Stop crying. It ain't your fault. Quit blaming yourself. I should have done it. Quit blaming yourself. I wish I had done. Stop blaming yourself. If you told them right, stop blaming yourself. If you told her right, stop blaming yourself. Because they went astray. If you didn't teach her right, stop blaming yourself. God is a forgiving God. God is a merciful God. He'll forgive you even if you didn't teach her right. Jesus will forgive you. Got it? Don't let nobody bind you and blame you. It's your fault. You should have taught it right. No, don't let nobody blame you. You did the right thing. And if you didn't do the right thing, God is still a merciful God and a forgiving God. Be free, woman. Be free, man. Go to sleep. Stop worrying. It's their fault. It's not your fault. It's their fault. It's not their fault. It's not your fault. It's their fault. You didn't make them do that. You didn't tell them to do that. They knew better than do that. Got it? It's not your fault that your children went astray. It's not your fault. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer. God bless you.